Have you ever thought about what happens when you blip the throttle on a motorcycle that's standing still? On most street bikes, the saddle is going to drop and the front suspension is going to rise. This is because the crankshaft inside of the motorcycle is rotating forward. On a MotoGP bike, the front end will drop and the seat will rise, which means that the crankshaft is rotating backwards. So why is it rotating backwards? If we take a spinning top and try to balance it on its tip without rotating it, it's going to fall right over. But if we spin it, it seemingly defies gravity. This is because of gyroscopic stability or the resistance of a rotating body to change in its plane of rotation. The faster it spins and the heavier it is, the greater the stability. If we look at a MotoGP bike in a side view, we soon realize that there are a lot of rotating parts, and especially the wheels, the tires, the brake discs, and the crankshaft inside of the engine. All of these parts will resist change in their plane of orientation, or in plain English, resist leaning the bike over. If the crank is rotating forwards, it adds to the stability of the motorcycle. In 2016, the MotoGP factories were forced to use a unified software, which meant that pretty much all of them went with heavier crankshafts in order to help control the throttle response of the bikes. Therefore, most factories opted to rotate the crank backwards. This is because when the crank is rotated backwards, it will, instead of creating stability, cancel out some of the gyroscopic stability created by the wheels, which means that the motorcycle will be easier to lean over. Another beneficial aspect of rotating the crank backwards is the anti-wheelie effect it has because of the torque reaction mentioned in the beginning of the video. As the rider accelerates, the acceleration of the crank generates a torque which wants to push the front wheel down. So why is it that most street bikes doesn't have backwards rotating cranks? Well, it's primarily a question of complexity. You see, even though we're spinning the crank rearwards, we still need to spin the rear wheel forwards. This means that we need to add a jack shaft and a bunch of balancing weights. This adds to the total cost of the motorcycle, so a more expensive motorcycle for the customer. Remember to subscribe to my channel. There's always something to learn.